You could say it's old world meets new world. A local bakery that's been in business for more than 30 years is proving successful in a new way. It's now become known around the world thanks to a determined father and son. Here's tonight's New Mexico Works. From the outside, it looks pretty unassuming. We're making empanadas here this morning. But inside the Golden Crown Panaderia, this one was filled with lemon. Something great is going on. Baked goods made by hand nearly 24 hours a day. The hands doing it belong to Pratt Morales. And here we go. We got the, my magic oven over here. It does a, it's a very old oven, but does a beautiful job. He opened this bakery more than 30 years ago. I came to New Mexico in 1963. Morales was in the military, stationed at Kirtland. When he got out, he had an accounting degree. Then... And all of a sudden, I said, nope, I don't want to be a CP, I want to be a baker. People thought I was nuts. Morales, who had no cooking background, gathered local recipes and soon became a master baker. Of our famous bizcochitos. People from all over the city came to get a taste, and now people from all over the world come too. This morning alone, we had three groups that came in. One from South America, Argentina, no, uh, Chile, uh, from the Czech, the Czech Republic were here this morning and also France was here this morning. That's because the bakery has been written about in magazines from all over the world. Much of the credit for that goes to his son, Chris. I have a cute little story about that. Is that I couldn't afford a CEO, I had to raise my own. My son has been with me since he was born. He was crawling all over the floor sometimes, you know, uh, and uh, sleep on top of flower sacks. Chris has a degree in computer science. He worked for several big companies but then decided back here is where he wanted to be. We have something amazing. My dad has the Mexico green chili bread, our bizcochitos, our empanadas, and at the time he was also dabbling with pizza crusts and pizzas. They're great products, they're amazing. And I knew that I, I, if I could bundle it properly, that the whole world would just love what we do. Chris started a mass email campaign to spread the word about the bakery. And all of a sudden, six months down the road, you get a phone call. Yeah, this is the Food Network. We got your email. We're interested in doing your place. Can you send us samples? Sure. We'll send you samples. We overnight them samples. They call us up. That is amazing. Can we do a show about you? Let me think about that, right? <laughs> that was the beginning of worldwide attention for this tiny operation. But it was so much so soon, Pratt and Chris had a tough time keeping up. We had a three ring binder and we'd write the customer's order by pen and paper. The bakery was backed up with orders for four months. That's when Chris decided to take the bakery high tech. He's now created an online smartphone and call in ordering system. There's even an online camera showing what's available each day. And the behind the scenes accounting has been greatly simplified too. Allows me more time to do this, which is what people come to look for a handmade product. And boy, do they come. It's a dream come true for the 74-year-old baker and his son. They've had offers to bake for big companies like Walmart, but have turned them down. They're happy with the way things are. We want to follow our path slowly, little by little, and then succeed in this manner. So we're such successful because, you know, here's where it's at. And we don't mind working hard. We don't mind we're spending living here day and night. We love it. We can't get enough of it. Now, if you have a story for our New Mexico work segment, just email me at kim.vias at krqe.com.